The next thing you need to do is find your Minecraft world files. Now, these may be in one of two places. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your C drive. Then you're going to go to users. You're going to go to whichever user you are. This one happens to be mine. Then you're going to go to app data. Now, if you can't see app data, you might not have hidden folders turned on. So you're going to go into view and you're going to make sure that hidden items is checked. So if this is off, app data disappears. If hidden items is checked, app data comes back. So I'm going to go into app data. Now, this is where it diverges. Sometimes what you're looking for is going to be in local. Sometimes it's going to be in roaming. So if it's not in one, look in the other. I'm going to go into local and I'm going to scroll down and I'm not seeing what I am looking for. So I'm going to go back and I am going to go into roaming instead. And this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Minecraft Education Edition. So in my case, it's in roaming. In your case, it might be in local. So I'm going to go into Minecraft Education Edition. I'm going to go into games. I'm going to go into com.moyang and I'm going to go into Minecraft Worlds. Now this is what you should see, a lot of weird folders that have a lot of weird gobbledygook. So I'm gonna go back one, I'm gonna go into com.mojang, and I'm gonna right click on Minecraft Worlds and I'm gonna to pin to quick access. So now, if I look up here, my Minecraft Worlds is pinned so I can always find it. And if I click in it, there is that weird gobbledygook. So make sure you have pinned Minecraft Worlds to your quick access.